Hello, welcome to episode 36 of the Epic Film Challenge 2, A Thousand More Movies You Must See Before You Die. It is from 1989, when Harry met Sally. Um, oh, okay. the, the film stars um, Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan, who play uh, Harry and Sally, respectively, and they meet, and that's the film. Is it a film you must see before you die? Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's not much you need to talk about with the plot of this film. It starts about ten years before the actual film is, mostly takes place, where Harry and Sally meet, they're younger. You can really tell that Billy Crystal is a lot older than he's supposed to be, which is like college yeah. years. Like, he's got this wig on, he just doesn't really... Meg Ryan can kind of get away with it. Yeah. Um, and they kind of meet just out of college, and they kind of have a bit of a, you know, a thing, and then... Well, not even a thing, they, they kind of rub each other the wrong way, actually, to begin with. And then we move on, I think, ten years later, something like that. Yeah, they don't have a thing at all. No, no, I mean, they have they a... Don't I mean, that they, they have an experience together where they... Where they yeah. It's a negative one. And then it moves to the kind of present day for them in New York and their paths keep crossing and they become friends and you can kind of guess where it goes from there. Um, what did you think? You've seen it before, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd seen it before but I really needed to, re we watched it about three weeks ago, maybe even a month ago. But um, I really need to give it another watch because I'd seen it before, I remembered loving it but I could only remember like a few key scenes, I couldn't remember the whole film so I'm glad that we re-watched it. And I loved it, um, and you know, I knew that I loved, loved it from before, but it just affirmed what I thought before. Um, really great romantic comedy um, that doesn't have that much romance in it, I suppose, but it is a romantic comedy. It's, you know, it's, when Harry met Sally, it has to be a romance in some way. And it is about, you know, love and, and you know, how relationships work and all that kind of stuff. They've got uh, Carrie Fisher, she's in it and she's really good. Um, and so you see other relationships as well, kind of. And, I yeah. can't remember who she is in it. Yeah, I, I, I can't remember whose friend she is. She's either Sally's friend or Harry's friend. I can't remember that much, even though it was only a month ago we watched it. But either way, you see other relationships and stuff. and, and She also... must be her friend, because I don't remember. He doesn't have any female friends, remember? That's true. That, that's, that's a big, big part of the film friend. as well. He, that's, that opens the film almost. Isn't that what he says at the beginning? He the... says that men and women can't be friends unless they're married or, you know... Yeah, a without sleeping with each other, you know, all that kind of without thing. Without there being any, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um... And, and attraction. You, and you see, like you can't be attracted. No, I, yeah, yeah, you can't be attracted to your uh, opposite sex friend because right. that's not possible to be friends with. Right. Yeah. Idiot. Got it. Um, but yeah, and it shows his relationships, her relationships, failed ones, and all that kind of stuff. And again, you can guess where it goes. Um, anything you really want to add about the film before kind of we watch him growing up in a way? Yeah. Because he's such a tool. Yeah, so and I. Know. I th yeah, I don't know. I think it's I, I do. So I don't know whether that's just me being a, a male pig, yeah. no, but or you the didn't fact like that I think him that the beginning, did no, you? no, 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 no. He was, he was he's an asshole in the beginning, but I like someone like Billy Crystal is quite likable, and he was able to pull off the the arc of the character, yeah, to where you really start sort of yeah, started like, to root like for him. I like him in the end. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I liked the movie a lot. Uh, it's it's one of those romantic comedies that I can watch again and again. Oh yeah. Two years oh. in in between. Uh, mainly because Meg Ryan is in it, and I just love her in the other romantic comedies, yeah. like Sleepless in Seattle, and yeah. You've Got Mail, which is some of my favorite 90s movies, I think. Uh, I think she's great. She, she, she's not even, like, an amazing actress, I don't think. She's basically the same girl in every movie. It's That's like true. She's just, That's true. She's the same character, I feel. She's, like... Like that, you know? Maybe she's a little bit more daring in this one with that cafe scene, which is very famous. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm not going to say what it's about because <laughs> if you've seen the movie, you know which. That's interesting. Thing I'm, That's I'm, I'm, I'm going to call you out on something here. We were watching a film the other day and there was some nudity and, really? Con and Connie was like, oh. Would you call me out on that? I'm not calling you out. No, because. I just want to ask you. Throw me no, under no, the no. bus, man. I'm throwing under the bus, man. <laughs> There's a bit of nudity and you were like, oh, great. Typical. And you said. And I'll quote this, you said, a film is not a great film if I can't watch no. it with... You did say I that. I don't like watching a movie. Yeah. If I can't watch it with my mom. <laughs> yeah. She said her mom. I don't know if you heard that with a cat cry. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's a whole other thing. I was just wondering, does this scene, the, the orgasm scene in When Harry Met Sally, does that... Uh, count it as a film you can't watch with your mum and therefore not a film that's great? I would be slightly uncomfortable because yeah. it goes on for a while but the whole thing is so hilarious yeah. so it's kind of okay. But let me just say, Coyote Ugly Right is a great movie. 
Okay. They have an extended sex scene. An extended sex scene? I didn't know scene. about that one. I wanted my mom to see the movie and I'm like, <laughs> I swear to you, that scene wasn't there the first five times I watched the this movie. The extended cut. <laughs> I don't know, it's the only thing that was extended too. Oh my god. I gosh. don't understand why they would put that in when you watched it on oh, TV. Man. Shut up. Anyways, uh... It can still be a good movie. I just think that it's unnecessary. Unnecessary. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah. at any rate, the, the 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 scene in the cafe is the famous scene from the film. But I think as good as it is, you can take it out, and it doesn't really harm the film at all. It's iconic. I think it stands out because of what it is. But but I think that the film doesn't need it to be the film that it is. And I think it's a great a great romantic comedy. Yeah, and let me just defend that scene by that woman in the end saying I'll have what she's having which makes it kind of makes you go like okay. yeah it lets you off the hook a little bit yeah <laughs> because then at least you end up laughing in the end even if you are like okay I'm just gonna check my mail what's going on for yeah yeah like anybody who's not in the room will be like what the is she watching you know yeah so, true yeah. yeah it doesn't sound like appropriate viewing Right, no, it so, doesn't. <laughs> so is it a film you must see before you die? It's an easy yes for me, because I love romantic comedies, and I just think it's uh, it's, it's one, one of the better ones. In fact, I said during the Say Anything review that I think it's one of the better ones, but again, I'm, I'm talking about the better ones that are in the book. There's not that many. Well, there are, there's quite a few, actually, but I mean, I think that uh, just, just, just the cast alone, you know, the two main leads, Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan, are just great. Like, you think about Say Anything, like John Cusack, he's great in the film. The girl, she's really good, but she's not great. Whereas I feel like Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal are both great, and it just it made for a good. They had good chemistry. Yeah, I have no relationship with that guy either, like, or whatever. I don't have a relationship with him. Well, you don't, I'm glad you don't. I don't, Billy Crystal. I don't relate to him, or I don't know. I I just don't know him. Okay. I don't think I've seen him in anything else. All oh, right. Okay. Maybe I have, but yeah. I don't. I don't feel anything when you know. Yeah. I see him in a movie. It's like, oh, it's that guy. Who? Okay. Uh, so that kind of, for me, it's it's just another romantic comedy in a way. It's enjoyable. Um, I am not sure if it's one that I, I think I would live happily not watching it okay. ever. Uh, but if you're bored on a Saturday night, <laughs> does it have to help to tell you that he's the little green one-eyed thing from Monsters Inc? I can kind of hear it in my head now when you say it. Uh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm surprised. Cool. I'm, I'm surprised. I, I, I don't know. Uh, well, I, I, I'm still, I still feel. I'm kind of like seventy-five percent on if if you have to. Okay, well, watch I'm still, it before you die. I'm still firmly a yes. I think girls should watch it before they die. <laughs> um, I don't see a problem with guys watching it. I don't see that. I mean, that that's just me though. I like romantic comedies. I, I, they're just so enjoyable. They're just real easy watches. You know, um, when they're done well, anyway. Yeah. And this one has it has all the makings. It has good chemistry, good actors, good writing. Um, I like the way that the the love story went and progressed, and all the little ups and downs, yeah. and also the great line at the end as well. I mean, you got to have a good line at the end in a romantic comedy when yeah. you know when you know what probably happens. She just told him to go fuck himself. It was great. Well, don't spoil it. <laughs> oh wait, that was Family Guy Star Wars, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. She didn't say that, or did she? Well, don't spoil that she didn't say it. You won't know until you watch it. Anyway, right, so... Do it before you die. So it's a no from you. No, it's it's a maybe. Then, like, then if, I think if you, it, no. if you have to choose between that one and, and uh, You Got Mail, You Got Mail is way above it. But it's not in the book. But then, you know, I think you should just... You should stick with your gut and say a no, Well, I'm putting it in the book. Okay. So you're going to go with a no. If you're dying tomorrow and you have to watch one romantic comedy, watch You Got Mail in case you yeah. don't have time for two. Well, yes, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not the best, you know, and it's, it's not... I don't know why that's not... What's wrong with people? Well, it's all all subjective, isn't it? And we'll, we'll, it's intro to internet. We'll, we'll probably do our uh, you know films we think you should see before you die at some point, but uh, that'll be many years into the future. Um, so yes from me. Maybe from me. I'm going to put I'm going to put you down as a no because I think you should stick with it's your. A female yes from me. A female yes from me. Okay. And also, interesting note. In the film, they're watching uh, Casablanca. And they kind of talk oh, yeah. about the ending and stuff, and they're like on the phone while they're watching it. There's an amazing scene in this. I completely forgot about it. It's Carrie Fisher and her partner in bed, 
both their phones ring, they both pick it up, it's Harry and Sally on both sides, so there's three different camera shots, and they're all talking, they're all like, the dial that's, a, that's, that's one of the reasons I, that, I, that I'm saying a yes, because it was such a brilliantly timed scene, just the way that they're all talking, but you get to hear both conversations, you're not distracted by between the, the two different ones, and the way that it's timed, I think, was just a really awesome scene. So that was Carrie Fisher. Yeah. She was her friend. Yeah. I remember now. But anyway, so, the, so they're watching Casablanca, and we watched that a couple of months ago, and so now we can kind of, you know, oh yes, we know that bit, you know. And that's kind of cool, and that'll be the film we're talking about in the next video. I agree, that was a great scene. It was. Yeah. Thank you for watching.